Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you saw my TikTok for you page, you would come to the accurate conclusion that I am in fact obsessed with Heartstopper. So obsessed that my brain woke me up at 2am and demanded that I buy all of the books. Which I did. I wanted them for a while and I did it. <laughs> all of my orders got cancelled. So last night, I did in fact order all four of the Heartstopper graphic novels because I've been wanting them for a while, ever since I read them like the week before Heartstopper the show came out. And I ordered them and all of my orders got canceled. Every single one of them. Ordered one from Barnes & Noble, the fourth volume, because it was only, they didn't have it at Books A Million because I found Books A Million had everything else. So now we're on a quest to find other places because I just was like in store pickup or whatever um, because I was just going to drive there because I'm not going to get them delivered because that's extra money why do that so yeah now we're on the hunt to reorder all these things I'm so sad I'm so sad because I just I just I just want my books you know you know you know so you're gonna join me on the adventure so they I could do it online but they won't accept my coupon code which is really frustrating because it's the coupon code I used last night, but they're like, they only use it once, but they canceled my freaking order. So did I even use the coupon? No. So now they gave me a new coupon for 10% off, but I have to use it in store. So I think I'm just gonna get my butt and move my butt into store. So I think we're gonna drive. I think, unfortunately, volume four is a lost cause. It's back ordered everywhere right now. Um, so that sucks. But I plan on going there, marching my butt there myself, and looking to see what they have in store. And maybe they have the fourth one in stores, and it just was a secret one that no one told them about, and they didn't put online. Wishful thinking. Okay, um, in the car, about to leave, because they canceled my order again. So I placed the new one again, because it still says online that they're in stock in stores. And... I'm probably just gonna get a text message in like 15 minutes saying, ah, sorry, non-stock, but I'm gonna go in person and see if they have them in person. Also, I was an hour late to my meeting for my first day of work. I was an hour late because I got the times wrong. I thought it was a two to three thing because there was another event going on in the program that was from two to three. So I thought that's what it was, but it was not that. And it was from one to 3.30. So I got on at like 1.45. And I was indeed very, very late. Um, I already emailed an apology, but I'm still like anxious about it because of course I am. Um, and I know I can't do anything else. I did all the things that I could do, um, but I'm still anxious. So we're gonna do some retail therapy in the form of books, maybe. I'm gonna debate how much I'm gonna let myself buy because I am buy. If the books, if the Heartstopper books aren't there, I'll let myself buy one book, I think, yeah. We're here. I haven't canceled my order yet, but we'll see if it's in here. It's sold out pretty much everywhere, which is great for Alice, great for the show, awful for me. So to make myself feel better, we're gonna make some Heartstopper leaves. That was a loud sound. And I gotta go find my paints. I decided we were going to paint my phone case with the Heartstopper leaves. I was gonna do the whole leaves, but I'm leaving soon. And so I might just do the leaves when I'm in Boston. Currently, uh, I have this clear glitter phone case. It's kind of gross and dirty, but it has roses, pressed roses from Conan Gray's tour. I'm gonna find another use for the roses. I think I also might just end up putting them in the exact same phone case because I have a second one. But again, in boxes, in Boston. It shouldn't be too hard, just like a cute paint job, Sharpie outlining, you know fun time so let's get started yeah. here is my setup I'm gonna add some plastic wrap over these cute little yellow paper plates I have my phone case it's this three layer one I'm only gonna paint on this one I'm gonna paint on the back I should probably sketch it out first let's sketch first the cheeky little outline of the phone case so I have like a idea of how big it's gonna be and then from there, 
I am going to just oh wait, wait make a little thing for the phone for this cutout. And then I'm just gonna kinda like sketch the placement of some leaves, I think, and kind of like get the flow of them. Also, the thing I like about these is they don't have to be perfect because that's kind of like the vibe of them is that they're not like perfect because they are all homemade and all cute and stuff. I could freehand it. Right now, this is what we have. Just a cute little like, you know, just some vibes, some leaves, but I think I want to, I'm going to sketch it out a little bit more. Here is my end sketch. This is the idea that we're going to go for. Um, now we need to color match. Started off with like the pink that's not super duper pink. It's more of a salmon-y pink. I think I might add a tad bit more pink to this color. I said pink a lot. With the first color mixed, I'm going to rewatch some of Heartstopper. Um, and I'm gonna paint a little bit. I'm gonna paint pink first because um, it's my favorite color and I want the most of it. So yeah, let's get started. I'll probably do a time lapse. <laughs> did the first coat of pink it looks absolutely atrocious but that's what first coats are for am i right second coat will make it look better i hope i pray <laughs> just mix the green i did like around three coats of the pink it's not perfect but it'll look better with a sharpie on top and i also have the paint saved so i can add more coats if i need to yeah i'm on episode two of heart supper <laughs> while episode three kiss has really great scenes that are unrivaled. I think one of my favorites is, I mean, it's all just banter, isn't it? I mean, the lads can see it's banter. You can see it's banter. Ugh. <laughs> hey, painting of the case is officially done. I did in fact take my time because half the time I was actually watching Heartstopper and not painting. I'm already on episode five. Um, but now we're just gonna do the Sharpie outline and then we should be good. Okay, so the little black Sharpie, like, isn't that strong? I don't know if I like it though, cause I kind of like how like sketchy it looks. The darker black Sharpie does look a bit more prominent. So I think we're gonna do a couple more with the darker black. I mean, not the darker black, the thicker black Sharpie. See how it looks. Okay, I added the thicker layer of Sharpie and I really like it. Now I'm debating if I'm gonna go for clear Mod Podge. Wait, no, not clear Mod Podge, they're both clear. Matte Mod Podge or glossy Mod Podge or mix them together and make a mossy Mod Podge. <laughs> Cause I just don't want the Sharpie to like rub off. It was rubbing off before. It's not seeming to do that right now, but we'll see. I think, I don't know. I'll check back in the morning. I'll put the Mod Podge on and then we'll see you in the morning. Currently out in my driveway so I could take a cool photo, but here's the finished results. She's really, really cute. Obviously she's not on my phone because I'm filming with my phone, but I've been using this for the past day and I added a matte coat of Mod Podge and that seems to be the way to go. It looks really nice. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Like this makes me love this case so much more and I'm really excited about it. Thank you for watching this video. You'll probably get another one when I finally manage to acquire the books, um, but this will be a pretty good substitute in the meantime. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.